What's going on YouTube goobers? Just a quick video. I want to touch on airsoft accessories, really. Are they worth buying? Is it worth spending a load of your hard earned pennies buying things for your airsoft replica? So I'm talking things like, you know, do you want a torch for your pistol? Do you want a pet box for your AR? Do you want an end guard? Are you going to put a torch on it? What sort of an optic are you going to buy? Now, me personally, I try as a collector to put on stuff that would be on their actual counterparts, um, with the exception of a few. Um, one of those exceptions being the Noveski. Um, so on this, I've just got this set up to run how, how I like to run the rifle, really more than anything else. So this is purely set up for how I want the gun, and it is not supposed to replicate anything. Um, I'm not trying to clone a rifle per se. Whereas the L119, on the other hand, that is designed to replicate the UK SF rifle. Um, so, as I say, being a collector, I try and replicate rifles as they should be. So my AK has got a genuine Soviet sling on it, and that is the only attachment on the rifle. It has nothing else on it, other than the sling. And my CAR-15, or the XM-177, it has got a Colt 4x20 on the top of it, and a sling loop. That is, once again, the sum total of attachments on that. Uh, the Knight's Armament, on the other hand, my SR-16, that's, once again, that is set up more as I would want a rifle to be set up if it was mine. So we've got a torch, we've got a green laser. It's also IR because I do do some night games. Now the optic on this I would potentially swap out dependent upon what I'm doing. It could have a LPVO on it instead. Um, but that depends on, on sort of if I was playing a you know a day game where I was expecting some some longer engagements. Um, so I'd probably take the one off the top of my URGO Mark 16 or I've got one on my Mark 18 as well um, that I would potentially take off that um, I mean the, the the Mark 18 that's that's another one really I mean that's just set up for how I want a rifle it's not it's not copying anything um, it's loosely a Mark 18 it's got a Mark 18 Daniel Defence rail on it um, that's about the only Mark 18 thing on it Aside from that, it's completely custom to how I like a rifle. Um, so I suppose the, the, the big question here is, is it worth you beautiful people spending a load of your hard-earned cash buying these attachments to put on things? Um, and I suppose the, the, you know, the real answer to that, the only real answer to that is, if you want to, yes. Um, I absolutely love tinkering around with stuff, um, modifying things, putting attachments on stuff, upgrading things. So, you know, inner barrels, hop units, bolt assemblies, so on and so forth. I absolutely love all that kind of things. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoy it. If you just want to play airsoft and that is your passion and you, you don't care about the gun, the gun is just a tool to play the game that you enjoy. Buy a semi-decent airsoft gun out of the box and leave it as it is. And it'll work just as well as any of the high-end rifles that I've got here. It's it's all about what you want from, from the replica, from the gun, from the game. Um, as I say, if you just want to run around and shoot people, buy a semi-decent replica that comes with everything that you need. You don't need scopes, you don't need red dots, you don't need torches, you don't need any of that to go and play airsoft. If you go and hire a gun, if you're if you're there as a rental, you're getting a bare M4, potentially G36, something like that. 
it's going to have no optic on it, it's going to have no torches on it, it's going to have nothing on it. You're going to get one high cap mag, and that's that. The customization element comes from when you buy your own gun. Do you want to? If you do, do it. If you don't, don't. It can get expensive. It doesn't have to be that expensive. None of this is genuine. Um, you can get good replicas um, at a reasonable price that will not break the bank. Um, I don't personally buy anything genuine for the use of airsoft. Um, I mean, you can get good, good cheaper optics. Um, so that's a real steel optic, vector optics one, or Vict optics one. Um, sorry, not vector optics, it's Vict optics. Um, and it is absolutely fantastic, and it is a, it's a budget real steel, it's a budget rifle scope. Um, it'll handle all the recoil of a gas blowback rifle without worrying about it, and it won't break the bank either, nice and cheap. And you're not going to be too worried if it gets shot out. Um, the surefire torches, on the other hand, they're, they're you know they're 150 quid for a torch. If somebody shoots the lens out of, out of it, I'm going to be upset. Um, same with the EOTEX. If somebody shoots the glass out of an EOTEX, if somebody shoots the glass out of a six seven hundred quid optic, I'm going to be really sad. Is it worth the risk? No. Do I want to put a kill flash in the end of it? Not really, because they look garbage. Um, unless it's on something like this, which is, you know, comes in handy, reduces glint and all the rest of it. Um, then it's okay. But I don't want to put a honeycomb cover on an EXPS. I just don't think they look very good. So I suppose my suggestion would be is if you've got the money and you want to spend it, there's no reason not to. Um, if you just want to go play airsoft and you really don't care about the replica, there is no need to either. Um, you can go play airsoft perfectly well without all the garbage that you bought on. <coughs> so, yeah, that being said, you do you. If you enjoy it, do it. If you can afford it, do it. Don't go broke trying to look rich. Cheers for watching. Ciao for now.